Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about this, the recent stream of Blade and Soul. So, everything was about anniversary of 5 years Blade and Soul in NA and EU, which was pretty okay, I guess, for as far as we could have fun. It was okay. There were some uh, keys we got for some items, nothing very interesting, but it was nice. But at some point, uh, Himit did talk about PNS Unreal Engine 4, which was actually being ignored for a long while. All she had to say was, due to COVID, there was more delay, and she has no release date as of yet, but she, she also said, they're still working on it and they're trying their hardest to release it as soon as they can. And probably first in Asia and then here, so don't expect it to be anytime soon. Maybe a year, maybe longer. That's what I think. Um, other than that, there was nothing really interesting about that. We do get some more content, of course, dungeons, uh, solo dungeon, legendary dungeon, raid, of course, more accessories and that kind of stuff in this coming half year. Other than that, nothing interesting out of the stream. On Twitter, however, I did find some news regarding Blade Soul 2, which is going to be a mobile game, which all of us should know by now. But if you didn't, there you go, it's a mobile game. But this game is going to be a little bit different than your traditional mobile game. Apparently, according to Greg Chan on Twitter, it's going to be a mobile game which will lock clan raids and sieges, something like that, on your phone. So you will not be able to play that on your phone, but you have to play it on your PC. And you still need a decent PC to actually run the game, because it's going to be pretty tough to run. Using the purple engine, you can play the game and you can do that. The clan raids, the, the sieges, etc. And that's kind of interesting to me. Like, they, they think of making a hybrid Blade of Soul, apparently. At least that's what I get from this. And it seems, to me, kind of fun, honestly. Because the past few years, I've been trying some mobile games like Call of Duty. And Blade and Soul I did play as well, Black Desert, Genshin of course, which is pretty good. And because of that, I noticed mobile games aren't that bad. MMOs however, they are kind of shitty on mobile, and I still agree with that. But if they find a way to balance it out with mobile gameplay of BNS2 and PC, I think it's gonna be better, at least, than Blade Soul Revolution, and it pr maybe it's gonna be really fun and maybe I will get into it. So I'm looking forward to that release, which should be anytime soon, this quarter, so maybe March, February, something like that, and I hope it's gonna be global so I can try it out, and make a video on it as well, and show you guys how the game is, what my thoughts are, and if you should or shouldn't play it, but what are you guys thoughts on this UE4? We were waiting for so long, I don't think anyone is gonna be very optimistic regarding that. But BNS2, of course it's a mobile game and people hate mobile games in general, I understand why. So what are your thoughts about Blade & Soul, Unreal Engine 4, Blade & Soul Complete, when do you think it's gonna release? And BNS2, are you going to play it? Are you looking forward to it? Are you gonna skip out on it? Uh, and why? Leave it down in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to your uh, messages and what your opinions are on this. Because I think it's gonna be interesting to discuss about this stuff. Anyways, without further ado, I hope you liked the video. And I hope you like that I try to do other stuff than just making videos up, uh, while gaming. But more about the content surrounding the game and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.